Good morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. My name is Mike, and it's early. It's always early. I, I just I fall asleep early, and I get up early. I'm in that routine now. I don't know what it is. The weather change. Who knows? Going to be a nice one here today, yeah. We're going to have like 35 to 50 mile an hour winds. Right now, you wouldn't know it. The flag's like this. No wind at all. It's nice and warm, but we're supposed to get rain. Who knows? It's spring. Anything can happen and will happen. Get sip this coffee. Get the brain pumping. Mm, I've got to go to town. Hopefully the rain holds off so I can go to town and get some 2x4s. Got some cabinets to build. Uh, didn't do them yesterday because I have sawmill lumber that I really don't want to use for the kitchen. Uh, it's pine. Uh, it's just I, I don't want to use it. I want to use that when I put my benches in the workshop. So we'll save those boards for that. You know, lumber around here is something that never goes to waste. Uh, I've got so much scrap lumber. Um, I got a lot of plans. That's one of the reasons I bought the building is to have a little small workshop where I can build little projects, get rid of some of this scrap. Uh, doing the remodel created a lot more scrap, pulled out a lot of cedar, put it in there. Uh, but it's, you know, the nice thing about cedar is it's not going to go bad. It'll keep, it's there when I need it. And, you know, if it gets a little weathered, and it, it does have a roof over it, so it's not, uh, it, you know, it's not like it's getting rained on all the time. You, know, you just run it through the saw, and it's good as new. It looks brand new. If wood can be brand new, which really, technically, wood can't be brand new because it's old. Because it had to age before they cut the tree down. You know, it's not new. So anyway... And I really, oh, I, I've been taking care of uh, a neighbor's dogs for the week. And they live on a dirt road and my white truck is like brown, covered in dirt. So I really need to hit the car wash. But, you know, if it's raining, yeah, I can, even if it's raining, I still need to. Because the rain's not going to get all the dirt off, especially if I'm parked in the uh, carport. But, uh, yeah, all we have here is the, you got to pull in, load the quarters in. There is an automatic one at the end of one of the car washes. <laughs> Guys, I will not go to one of them ever again in my life will I ever pull into an automatic car wash. And there's a reason why. I will never forget this. As long as I live. Never. For... Four years I lived in Denver, Colorado. I worked for the Denver Post newspaper. I was a journeyman press operator. I did that for many, many, many years. Uh, you work very strange hours. Uh, only the most senior pressmen get the cushy day hours. But I did end up working, you know, some day shifts here and there. Uh, it goes by uh, like a rotating schedule. You may work night shift for three to six months. And then they may put you on day shift for three to six months. But this particular time period, I was on nights. And we generally would get off about 2.30 to anywhere. It really never went later than 3, 3.30 in the morning. And we would start, we worked seven hour shifts. Anything over that, you got paid overtime. Um, if you didn't get a lunch, you got paid time and a half for that, for a lunch. Uh, it was a union shop. Most of the shops I worked in, I've worked both union and non-union. But anyway, on to the story. <laughs> so I get off. It was a pretty good run. Uh, we didn't have any troubles. I think I got off like 2.33 in the morning. And I had a, a Ford Probe car. So I decided I'm going to get gas on my way home. And then I'm gonna, they had one of those automatic car washes. Well, it was wintertime. But in Denver, you know, everything it, where, where you get snowy weather, everything's built for it. Here they just shut them down if it gets cold. But in Denver, you pull in, 
you pull up to the, the thing, you put your money in, and most gas stations had them. You put your money in, you pick what car wash you want, the super car wash for 80 bucks or, you know, the buff and whatever. So put the money in and you got two sets of garage doors. One to go in, one to come out. So the garage door opens because nobody's in there for a while because it's, well, it's three in the morning. So the garage door opens and it's kind of shaky. And I pull in and the garage door shuts. So, I, you know, I think I picked the extra good wash. And uh, it was very, very cold that night. I mean, it was probably 10 degrees and windy. It's always windy up there in Denver. So I pull in, it goes through the thing. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, car washes, they, they were fun. We were scared of them when we were little kids, but... You know, after you get to a certain age, that's you want to go to the car wash. It's fun. And they've had automatic car washes for, I mean, ever since I've been alive. And I'm, you know, I'm old. So, so I pull in there. It goes through the whole spiel. Well, there's a little Sigma Sea Monster brushes go over and down. You know, and the squirting goes all over. And then all the water just... <clears throat> Okay, it went through its cycle, and it's time for me to go through the dryers. The dryers kick on, I get the green light. So I start creeping forward. I'm creeping forward. Well, the garage door ain't opening. It ain't opening. And in order to go through the heater, you gotta go, because the heater's right at the end. Okay, if the garage door's not open, you ain't going through the heater. And I don't know if there's sensors that turn the heater off or on when you get past a certain point. Well, I, I know now there is. So the door ain't opening, man. And I'm in there. And ain't nobody except for the one person in the gas station. I'm assuming because I, I, I didn't go in the gas station. You know, I put cash in the thing. So the door isn't opening, but the heater's still a blaring and, and them things are loud. <laughs> so I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and the door is not opening. Five minutes go by and I'm like, all right, what do I do now? And the machine that washes your car, it, it kind of just folds back, but not real far. Okay. So... I can't even get out of my car and I, because these things are like this far away. I can't even open my car door to get out. And I'm in there scheming. I mean, man, what am I going to do? This is 1998, guys. I didn't have a cell phone back then. Some people did. They were big. And even if you did, you didn't get a signal. And you sure wasn't going to get a signal inside that car wash in 1998. It just wasn't happening. I don't think I got my first cell phone till 2001, and it was one of them old Nokias, you know. So I'm in there, and I can't get out of my car, and that door ain't opening, and that heater is going full blast. Thank God for that, that the heater was on. So I, you know, a probe is a hatchback car. So I got the bright idea, and I look behind me, and I'm like, you know, there's a little water beading on there. I can't see too good, but maybe I can crawl out that hatchback. I don't even know if I can open that from the inside, but I'm going to try. And then I remembered I had a button. I think I had a button that I could push, and that would open. And I, I don't think I had a key fob back then. It was like a 2000, I don't know what it was, what year. Um... Uh, I don't even know if I had a probe. I, I think that's what I had. Yeah, I know it was a hatchback. The whole experience is fuzzy, so bear with me. So to make a long story short, and it ain't going to be short, I get out the hatchback, okay? And I can't go to where the heater is because that would blow me down because it's blowing so hard. But finally... The heater, I don't know if it was on a time limit or whatever, it shut off. 
So I walk up there where the exit is, where the door is supposed to open, and I'm looking around. I'm like, why ain't this thing opening? And there ain't nobody in there, you know. There's no phone inside there to call the attendant. So finally, some lady pulls up to get gas. But it's a good distance away, you know, from where the car wash is. They always put them off to the side. So I'm beating on the door. Hey! Hey! And the lady's... She gets out. I see her pull in. Takes a woman, you know, takes a woman forever to get out of a vehicle. Finally, she gets out. She gets the gas pump, puts it in the thing. And I'm beating, hey, man, hey, hey. What does she do? She gets in her car and shuts the door while the gas is pumping. So I'm like, great. Finally, she her gas pump shuts off, I guess. She gets out, and I'm beating on the door, and I'm beating on the door as hard as I can. And it's loud. And she kind of looks over. And I don't know if she's seen me. She looked over, and she's doing this. And then she leaves. She leaves. Oh my man. Yeah. How long am I going to be in here? So finally, another guy was a guy, thank God. He pulls in and he's standing out there. You know, it's still 10 degrees, uh, but he's, he's a tough guy. He's going to stand out there and pump his gas. Maybe he got $2 worth. I don't know. You could do that back in the day. Get $2 worth and make it home. <laughs> Not now. I get this guy's attention. He's looking. He's looking. I say, help! Because when somebody hears that word, you know, that's, that's a word a man doesn't want to scream. Trust me. Help! But I had to. And he's looking around. He's look, And he spots me. I'm in the frosty window. There's, there's like three little glass windows, portholes. And I'm scrubbing off that hey he comes over to the door and I'm like get the guy in the store I'm stuck in the car wash so he goes in there he gets the guy <laughs> he tells the guy he comes back and he says the guy the guy can't leave the store he's the only one here and I'm like man call Somebody, have him call the manager. So the guy goes back in. He's a real nice guy. He goes back in. It must have been the dumbest convenience store clerk ever. He comes back out and he says, he said the manager's on vacation, man. There's supposed to be an emergency button in there. I'm looking all over. There ain't no emergency button anywhere. I could not find it to save my life. It's dark in there as well. I got to tell you, it's like 3.30 in the morning and it's dark. I can't see nothing. So put on my truck lights, or my car lights. I don't know why I said truck. Put on my car lights. It's not helping. I do find uh, like a, a cord that's connected. And I'm not an idiot. I wasn't an idiot back then. I'm pretty mechanical. So I'm looking for a way. There's got to be an emergency way to get out of here. Keep in mind, it's icy all around this door. It's middle of winter. It's icy. Uh, finally, finally, somebody pulls up to get a car wash. Puts their money in. That door opens. And I got my chance, man. I go up to that person. I say, whoa, do not pull in. I am stuck in here. That door will not open. They back up, and so I get to finally back out of there. And if <laughs> thank God they didn't choose a car wash option, because I would have sat and went through that whole ordeal. I don't know how those things work. But man, I will never, ever in my life go into an automatic car wash again. And, and people have died in them things, mostly because they're stupid and they get out, you know, teenagers or whatever. But man, if that person had to show, who knows how long I'd have been stuck in that dude. And the guy wouldn't come out, And but my next option was, to, you know, have him call the fire department. <laughs> who knows? That would have been embarrassing. That would have been like getting your hand stuck in something and or your head stuck between two 
rebarbs or something having a call been embarrassing but i was able to back out of there and from that day on i have never ever again in my life went into one of them car washes so do not do it and if you do make sure it's busy and oh i'm sure now they have a lot of fail safes but don't count on it don't count on them working because i never did really find anything and there was stuff that looked like it could be but i was fixing to ram that dude man if, if it wasn't gonna open and that heater stayed on forever and thank god because it you know it was gonna get cold in there but i and you really you know i didn't know if i could sit in there and run my car because you're in a garage, I'm sure they're vented for that because you're not going to shut your car down. But, you know, when you're getting a car wash, you're only in there for a couple minutes. But never go with an automatic car wash, guys. All right. I don't know how I got off on that spiel, but, hey, it made a video. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. This channel's rocking. I thank you for that. And we will see you tomorrow. Happy trails.